What's up, Video 4 Nation? I'm Magic Bars, and I want to say thank you to everyone that wished me a happy birthday. This is why we make these tutorials for you guys and you guys only. I love you guys. Thanks a lot for always watching, commenting on the videos, leaving us a like. We really appreciate it. And for today, we've got a big head tutorial that will really blow your mind. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't that funny. But anyways, if you've seen a big head tutorial already on YouTube, a lot of them miss a critical step, which is warp stabilizing the head before putting it back onto the actor. So I wanna show you guys that technique. It will help you out if your big head effect doesn't look quite right. This is the way to do it to make it look better. So with that being said, if you're new to Video Ford, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell icon right next to it. Sorry, I'm a little hazy today. So that way you'll be notified every time we put out a new tutorial every single week. With that being said, let's jump in to the tutorial. So let's get our footage right here. I've got mine and I'm um, bringing into a new comp. And as you can see, I shot this from a low angle to kind of show you guys the big head effect a little more. Pick the part of the clip that you want to use. So. I'll find uh, where he gives us the thumbs up, okay, right there, and um, we'll start it here. I pressed B for the starting of my work area, and then N to end it. And then what I'll do here is right-click and then press Trim Comp to Work Area, which will cut this out and make it my whole work area right here for us. And so the first thing we want to do is track our guy's head. Try to find a good spot that's in the whole video. And for me, I'm thinking um, probably the nose, the nostril. And so what we'll do is track motion. Make sure that your clip is selected. Press track motion. And then we will bring this guy up to the nostril. And I say that because... Um, you want to pick a position on your frame or clip that has solid contrast. So we have um, a dark black nostril and then his skin. So it should be easy to track at about that point. And so what I'll do is bring the playhead to the beginning, place my tracker on there, and, you know, fit these up I mean it's it's pretty good as it is right there and then I'm gonna press this button right here which will analyze uh, my whole clip forward so click that let your clip analyze and watch the tracker see if it comes off and good so you know like I said that was a good point it has good contrast so the tracker stayed on it looks like yep and um, yeah, we're good to go. So then the next step is to go into layer, new, null object, and then we are going to pair this tracking data to the null. So select edit target on your tracker and click on, or just make sure it's on your null. So press OK, and then you're going to apply this data. Boom. So now we've got a null, that's this red square, and then it will have all the tracking data. If you press U, you can see the keyframes for the position that it made. Okay, so that's great. Now we've got the track on his face. Next step, we want to cut out his head and then make it larger. So what we do for that is select our clip and then let's uh, close this guy for now and then hide it um, so it's not in the way. And what we'll do is create a mask of his head. Now we can use the pen tool and cut him out and then, you know, do frame by frame editing, which is essentially, I mean, that's the best way to do it. Um, you'll get the best edges, but it is frame by frame and you're looking at a very, very, very long process. So let's shorten that up by using the roto brush tool. And what we'll do is double click on your clip. Okay, so we bring that up and then you'll see this little plus sign with the green in it and um, that'll let you paint on where you want a roto. Okay, so I want his head, so I'm going to paint, make this little selection and you'll see these purple or pink lines around him telling you that 
this is what you're selecting. Now, I don't want his neck, so I'm going to hold down the Alt key and then just put some red over where I don't want it to mask. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, solid, solid, solid. I like that. Now, um, hair is obviously really tricky. As you can see, it's missing some strings of hair right here, right there. Now, what you can do for that, and then his beard is going to be a tricky one as well because um, he has some little whiskers coming out on the sides, as you can see. To refine that, there's a tool called the Refine Edge Tool. Now, you're going to take that, hold down the, com the Command button, and then you can drag up and down by holding down on your mouse and the Command button to resize the tool and this looks like a good size right about there and then what we'll do is we'll paint over the edges that I want to refine okay now these are like like hair and that kind of stuff is good um, and then I'll show you why so the white is what we're masking out right the white's gonna be a part of his head and then the black is gonna be our alpha channel so that's looking good we're getting some hair in there um, we're gonna do the same on the top of his head to get this hair and uh, let's see what that looks like cool now that looks good now um, I'm gonna go back into here uh, roto brush and I just want to subtract a little bit I'll make this a little bit smaller and kind of subtract that cool and um, yeah that's fine with me okay we're just we're trying to go with this fast and see how fast we can do this now um, we've got our mask all set up all right and then we're gonna need it for the whole duration of the clip now how we do that is we extend this guy all the way to the end and now when we render it out or freeze it as they call it here it will create our mask so what, what I'm gonna do is bring the playhead halfway and I just want to see how it all matches up you know if it matches up because I like to kind of test it out and what it'll do is as you can see it'll start sort of rendering out in this green um, I guess you can call it a status bar it will move over as it renders out each frame one by one so once you move your playhead that's when stuff starts to take action okay and um, I'm going to check it. If it works, we're going to freeze it. And I'm going to fast forward this tutorial so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Guys, we're live and we're looking good. Um, so this is what it's supposed to look like. I like it. You like it. Uh, we're all having fun here. And um, let's finish it up by pressing freeze, which will lock in this data and make us create or create us our mask. and we are back finally all right check it out so we've frozen our mat layer or our, our mask our mat whatever you want to call it let's get back to our composition up here and there's our head cool and you can see his little fuzzies right there we've got the fuzzies in um and that's all due to the feather tool that we have the roto brush uh, refine edge feathering tool um, so we're looking good. We're looking we're making some progress guys now um, Let's do this. All right. We've got our head cut out and what we're going to do is duplicate the layer and Let's just name this right now um, head or big head big head and um, This will be our body. Okay now We want to take the effect off of the body um Go down here into Roto Brush and just click it and delete it. Okay, so now we have our body. Let's fit this back into our composition. So we have a separate head and we have a body. Okay, and then we have our null object, which is what we're going to connect the head to. Okay, now we have to stabilize the head, and what we want to do is make sure that his head is centered throughout the whole clip. And by by doing that, then we can stick it onto this null. And it'll stay there so what we're gonna do right now is have the head selected 
and we're going to stabilize the motion. First, let's bring our anchor point to the nostril of where we want to stabilize, okay? And this will be very important later on. So now that we got that, we are going to make sure that this is selected and we're going to click on stabilize motion and we are going to track that nostril, the same one that we did the um, null object on. So we're at the beginning, good. We've got our anchor point there, our tracker point as well, and we are going to analyze forward. And it should stick on because it did before, so we know that this is a good place to do some tracking and it looks like we are good to go now let's apply it press ok X and Y access good and um, let's see and we are should be stabilized and you can tell when you see our frame kind of moving around um, so that's good and his nose is connected to the anchor point, which is perfect, exactly what we wanted. Now what we can do is take our big head and connect it to our null. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take this little uh, pick whip and then you're just gonna highlight the null, let go, and then you'll see right here it's parented to the null. So once you've got it there, just open up your scale by pressing S, scale up his head, and hey, you've got a big head that is stuck to our null, and our null is stuck to our body, so we should be finished with the effect. Boom, boom, let's check it, let's check it. Come on, load on me. We've got that, we've got that. Good, we're looking good, folks. We are looking good. I like it. Um, so um, the other thing is, I mean, that's basically it, guys. Now you know how to connect things, uh, meaning a big head, back onto a person. Or in those music videos I showed you, sometimes it would be someone else's head on another person. Guys, this is it. This is the effect. You've got it down. You're ready to do it. Use it in your music videos. Use it in your videos. Um, it's fairly simple. It just takes a while to do all the tracking, to do the roto brushing. Um, when you use the refine edge tool, that takes a lot of computing power, so it'll take a while to render. Um, but you know, once you understand the effect, um, you can really do some cool things with it. And if you look in my example, um, you'll see that, where is it? His thumb gets in front of his head and, and how to fix that is all you have to do is bring another body layer on top. Okay, so you take this layer, duplicate it, put it on top of the big head and then you would cut out his thumb and then that's how you get this look where the thumb is in front of the head. Okay, so you basically you create a mask of the thumb in front of the head and that's how you put stuff in front. Cool. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Now you can create that cool big head effect. Definitely put it on YouTube, put it on Instagram. Let us know, hash, tag us at Video Fort so we can check it out, hashtag it. And um, yeah, I'd love to see what you guys are creating. If there's any type of tutorial that you want to know more about, a visual effect, let us know in the comments. We'll try to address those as soon as possible. And if this video helped you out at all, please leave us a like. With that being said, guys, this is Video Ford. I'm Magic Bard. And I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you on the next one. Hit.